All right. So here we go. We're gonna, I'm going to go over some problems that will help with the uh, review packet. Um, these are all the problems from the actual review packet itself. Okay. Um, I hope this helps. All right. For this first one, remember, we want to put it in vertex form. Remember that vertex form looks like this. Y uh, buckets. Come on. Y equals um, a times x minus h squared plus k. All right. So in order to do that, we want need to complete the square. Um, then we're going to straight the vertex and graph the parabola as best that we can. Okay. Um, first thing I do is move the 14 to their side. So I have f of x uh, minus 14 plus blank equals x squared minus 8x plus blank. This is a little review. All right, this is one. This is this comes from um, before we left. All right, before we left for SB ish. Okay. Um, define whatever I put in this blank. Remember, I take half of eight, so I got negative eight over two, which gives me negative four. Then square it to get sixteen and sixteen. Okay. Um, from here, I want to combine my like terms. F of x uh, plus two equals. Now remember, we're going to complete our square, so we need a binomial square. It's going to be x, and then since this is a negative four here. And I'll have minus four, and this will be squared. Move the two to the other side. So f of x is x minus four squared minus two. All right. Um, remember, minus four means I move to the right four, and then the minus two means down two. So my vertex is four comma negative two. So I'll go over to four negative two make a point okay now obviously i have my wider step is all the way up here at 14. um just for now we're just going to draw our parabola facing up because it's a positive x squared most important part is identifying the vertex and the actual uh, vertex form okay uh, let's try another one vertex form again so i'm going to move that seven so i have f of x minus seven plus blank equals x squared plus 6x plus blank, okay? Um, take half of 6, 6 over 2 is 3, 3 squared gives me 9, so I have 9 and 9. All right, combine my like terms on the left, f of x plus 2 again, wow, interesting, equals x something squared. Well, how do I know what goes in here? Well, whatever this is, it was a positive 3, so plus 3 quantity squared minus 2 minus 2 f of x, x plus 3 squared, and then minus 2 on the end. The 3 will make me go to the left, so negative 3 down 2, negative 2. And then there's my vertex, and it's at positive 7, so I'll try to hit that. You want to make it a U-shape ish. There you go. Wow, that's the first two. All right. The most important thing, uh, most important part of these two is just putting in vertex form. Okay. Putting in vertex form and identifying the vertex. All right, solve these equations. All right, well, solve these equations. All right, well, let's solve it. Um, in order to solve a quadratic, I need to make sure it's equal to zero. So I'm going to add two to the other side. So I have x squared minus eight x. Um, minus 71 equals zero. Now, if you look at the key, oops, if you look at the key for this one, I chose to complete the square here. Um, you can solve it using any method you want. I'm actually, instead of completing the square, I'm going to do the, uh, well, since I, I did that here, I might as well just do it again. So I'm not, I'm going to move that 73 to the other side. Okay, excuse me, the 71 back to the other side. Okay, and I want to show you the completing the square process. Um, just so we have more practice with that. Okay, so I'm going to write um, plus blank, and I'm going to write equals. Um, imagine that I added instead here. I forgot. I'm, I apologize. I forgot that I did the complete the square uh, technique. So I'll pretend I added 73 to get 71 there. Okay, and I'll have plus blank. All right, so I'm going to take half of um, 8, negative 8 over 2, which is negative 4, squared to get 16 and 16, okay? So this is going to become x 
minus 4 squared equals, what's that, uh, 87. All right. Um, to get rid of the, I want to solve for x, we need to get rid of that square term. To get, undo a square, I take the square root of both sides. To get x minus 4 equals plus or minus root 87. 87 is a prime number, so I cannot simplify it. Move the 4 to the other side. So x equals 4 plus or minus root 87. Now, if you chose to do the quadratic formula instead, that's totally all right. Um, you should have still come up with the same answer. Okay, um, for this next one, all right, uh, here we go. If I move the 7 to the other side, so minus 7 minus 7, I get x squared minus 6x uh, minus 40 equals 0. And the first question I want to ask myself, well, can I factor this? Is this factorable? Well, is 40 factorable? Are there two, are there two numbers that will multiply to 40 and add a negative 6? Well, luckily for us, there are. Um, so I don't have to complete the square or use the quadratic formula. I can just go x minus 10 and x plus 4. And that's equal to 0. So x will equal 10. And x equals negative 4. All right. Next one here. Um, let's see. Am I going to be able to factor this? So if I add to the other side x squared plus 2x minus 10 equals 0. That's not factorable. Um, I could complete the square. Instead of completing the square this time, I'm going to choose to do the quadratic formula because I believe I did that on the key. Yes, that's right. I did that on the key. Um, here we go. Let's go x. So my a value, excuse me, I'm going to start over again. a equals 1, b equals 2, c equals negative 10. Remember that x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, so I have x equals the opposite of b, so negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 10 all over 2 times 1. <laughs> Um, 2 squared is 4, 4, uh, I got negative 4 times negative 10, which gives me negative uh, 44. So I have 4 plus 44 to get um, the root 48 all over 2. And I can simplify the square root of 48. The square root of 48 is root 16 times root 3, right? 16 and 3. Remember, you want to find a perfect square that multiplies into the radical. All right, so I have negative 2 plus or minus 4 root 3 all over 2. Since all three of these numbers are divisible by 2, I can reduce this. Okay, I can reduce this to become x equals negative 1 plus or minus 2 root 3. Now, if you chose to complete the square, you should still get the same answer, no matter what. How about that? That's pretty neat. Yes, yes it is. Isn't it? It sure is. All right, let's 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 see. Maybe we can factor this one. Hopefully, x squared minus 8x. Um, if I subtract 9, I get minus um, 33 equals 0. So I want to think if there's factors of 33, it'll add to give me negative 8. Excuse me. Oh, um, there are x minus 3, this should be x minus 11, and x plus 3, and that's still equal to 0. So x equals 11, and x equals negative 3. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's keep going. We're having so much fun. Holy buckets, now we're doing square roots. Remember when we're solving square roots, we want to isolate our square root. So I'm going to move this 9 to the other side. So I have the square root of 3x plus 25, and that's equal to positive 2. Now that the square root is by itself, I can square both sides. Square the 2. I get 3x plus 25 equals 4. Now just solve for x. Minus 25. 3x equals negative 21. Divide by 3. x equals negative 7. Okay, that wasn't too bad. 
here we go. Let's try the next one. Well, the square root is already by itself for us, so now I can just go ahead and square both sides. So I'm going to square this side, and I'm going to square the x minus 1. Remember, x minus 1 squared is x minus 1 times x minus 1, so you have to FOIL. Alright, so my 3x plus 37 stays the same. If I FOIL this, I get x squared minus 2x plus 1. Bring the 3x over, bring the 37 over by subtracting them both. And I get 0 equals x squared minus 5x minus 36. Are there two numbers that will multiply to negative 36 and add to negative 5? Yes, there are. 0 equals x minus 9 and x plus 4. So x equals 9 and x equals negative 4. Um, go back to see if it works. If I plug in negative 4 here, I'll get a negative, so that is out. Can't, can't take the square root of a number and get a negative answer, so x is 9. Let's keep going. We are having so much fun on this beautiful day. All right, um, here we go. I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So I get x plus 5. All right, I guess I put in parentheses. You don't have to. Um, equals 6x plus 37. Square both sides since the square root is by itself. Remember this is x plus 5. That's why I put in parentheses so you realize that you have to FOIL again. Um, here we go. x squared plus 10x plus 25 equals 6x plus 37. Again a 37. Holy buckets. All right. Here we go. I'm having so much fun. Aren't you? Whoa, this math is nuts. X squared, 10 minus 6, uh, plus 4X minus 12 equals 0. Wow, that factors. X, what a nice guy. X plus 6, X minus 2 equals 0. So X equals negative 6 and X equals 2. All right, let's see which one works. If I plug in negative 6... I don't know why there's a plus five or an equal sign there. That's confusing. Um, I plug in negative six. That's out. X is two. Check it. Yeah, I apologize for equal sign being there. It shouldn't be there. Just ignore it. All right, just a typo. Um, all right, here we go. So the square is by itself, but I got this negative five attached to it. So I want to get rid of the negative five. All right, right away. So I have four equals negative 5 minus 3x. Now, how did I know to divide the negative 5? Well, because um, some of us will think about adding it. Um, the reason I divide it is because it's negative 5 times the square root. Okay? If it was negative, excuse me, if it was negative 5 plus the square root, like something like this, um, then I would add. All right? But since it's attached, I want to divide. Okay? Now I'm going to square both sides. Uh, luckily for us, we don't have to foil. To multiply it, then we just square uh, 4, which is 16. Negative 5x minus 3. Add the 5, so I get 21 equals negative 3x. So x equals negative 7, yet again. Wow. A lot of parodies and a lot of parody in the answers. All right, um, I'm going to save, I'm going to stop here um, and then pick up. Uh, Pick up with number 11 on the next video.